Good afternoon and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews with me, Dave the Beer Dad. Back again to do another beer review for you. I'm going to do a Gypsy Hill beer. I've been to um, the mighty Barton's in Ashton Makerfield Barton's. And um, they're the, one of the few places I've seen Gypsy Hill beers. Um, yeah, go do one of, their, one of their beers. I like Gypsy Hill. Some of the stuff's really, really, really good. Um, and it's the South Central IPA weighing in at 6%. It says so there. Nice can this actually. If you have a little look at that, it's like downtown LA. Well, I'm sure that's what they were going for. Um, it says on the back, South Centre is a West Coast style IPA. Big Sea Hops, Centennial, Cascade and Citra um, have been uh, packed into a lovely clean grist uh, to give a lasting, a, a, to give lastings of resinous and piney dank and bitter hot notes. Uh, it's IPAs the way they used to be all over again. It goes great with, it goes well with inner city streets um, and the usual stuff that they usually put on this stuff. Drink it and talk to people. What it says there, okay. Best before on this one, can date and the best before. Best before the 4th of uh, sorry, pack the 4th of July 19. Best before New Year's Eve this year, 31st and 12th 19. Says so there. Cost me that much. So without further ado, let's pop this top. Top is popped. Let's see what we've got. That wasn't open properly. I'll put the rest in shortly. So, beer in a glass, what have we got? Slightly hazy, a bit of chill haze on there. A gold, bright gold coloured beer. Finger of white, densely compact, soapy head. Looks really, really tasty. That looks really tasty. There's no carbon. There's no floaters in it that I can see. So a little touch of carbonation. The camera, whether the camera can pick that up or not, I've got no idea. Right, let's try and get the rest in. Okay. So looks. The light catches that as a batter belter. So let's get a nose. That's what we can smell. Nice fruit, citrus fruit. There's, they've, um, there's a nice dankness to this. It does say what it says on the back, and to be fair, it's quite right. There's a dankness to it. There is a nice sort of resinous aroma going on. A bit of pine on the on the aroma. Lots of uh, lots of orange, lots of grapefruit. Let's go for it. Real soft carbonation. Um, body wise a little bit light but it is a little bit oily which is good I like that which makes it just slides down a little bit easier um, good for a big taste <sighs> straight away it's just there's a, there's a dry backbone of this, on this beer and it's a lingering backbone as well because I've still got it there's a nice pie um, Paddy touches to it. There's a nice little resinous bit in it as well. But it starts off the flavours really. You get you get this dryness straight away, and then the, the fruit comes through. The orange comes through. The grapefruit comes through. That's peel, and rind. And it's, it's, it's a little bit. Of, it's, it's a bit pithy as well. That as that fades a little to touch, a touch of sweet, but not a lot. Just kind of just just makes you go. Ooh. And then this dark, dry, resinous, piney finish. Gorgeous. It's really nice. Oh. Dank, juicy, fruity, dry. A little bit. It's certainly a winner for me. I like the dry ends, I like the dry, I like resinous and piney back ends. I like fruit up front. 
there's a little touch of bread and maybe a biscuit about it as well but it's just great very very easy drinking as you can see don't pick up any kind of alcohol but six percent you wouldn't expect to to be fair and not with these modern breweries it's one of them beers five pound is it worth five pound possibly not possibly not but I suppose the way modern brewing's going hops are going up in price I would imagine beer's going to go up in price especially good craft beer there you go is it worth the five quid probably not would I buy it again though you know what I probably would I'd probably buy another one um, do I like it of course I do otherwise I wouldn't buy it again would I recommend it to friends yes I would recommend it to friends and does the beer make me smile yes and does it make me make me happy yes so it's it's a win-win the only thing is it is it is the price is a bit of a bit of a contentious issue I don't may not I don't think it's worth five quid but it is the times we're living in folks isn't it there you go so south central ipa by gypsy hill if you've had this beer let me know what you think put a comment below there'll be a link also below to their website yeah. excuse me i'm not sure if you can buy it off the website to be fair but if you like the video give me a thumbs up if you like the video give me a thumbs down subscribe at the bottom corner there like you just shout out once i know that you've subscribed got a few to do I'm just trying to collate a few and then we'll I'll, I'll do the uh, subscriber shout out so there you go so see this out and about give it a go pick it up let me know what you think and i'll see you in the next one big weekend for me a long weekend so hopefully plenty of reviews i am um, hail the ale happy drinking